Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Guys, when I picked up my phone and put it in the thing, it was 8.08. .08. So every time we get an angel's number, guys, I'm going to pull it out the book for us. And it's 8.08. .08. And it says, when you see the angel number, when you receive the angel number, like when you read, watch the video, they says, uh, what were you doing at the time? I'll tell you what it says. It says, where did you see it? Like for me, I saw it on the phone. When did you see it? Uh, your emotional state at the time of this appearance, like what were you thinking and all of that stuff. So guys, we got number 808 and it's rejoice. The foundation for your future is here. The angels celebrate you. You are self-aware and focused on personal growth. The road has not always been easy, but you took control of your response to it. The habits you form are foundational for your future. Do something special for yourself today. In celebration of all you've accomplished, guys. Yes, 808. I need my marker. Is it in here? It's not in here. But I highlight everyone. So we have 808, guys. 808. So what do we want to read? What do we want to pull? What do we want to do? What do we want to start? New deck from Karen. From Karen P. All right, guys, this is the signs of the time. Let's see what's going on in your energy space. You look closely, Ooh, right? You look at that long enough, you get dizzy. All right, guys, for the collective, what messages do we have? <clears throat> we have a firefly. This is wonder. You can be wondering about a lot of things, right? Wondering about what you should do, what you shouldn't do, what it would be like if you did this, you know? You're wondering about a lot of things. You're just thinking. Could be thinking, could be wondering about a person, right? Just thinking about how it could be. Guys, angel numbers. Angel numbers. Didn't I just start this reading with the angel number? So we have angel number. This is confirmation, guys. So I'm going to read this and see if this just makes sense to anyone. And guys, sometimes it just has to relate to where you are, where your person is, wherever you're connecting with. Like for me, it was 808, right? And I was thinking about something at that time. And I had just saw something at that time. And on here it says, so maybe some of this can make sense. It says the spot. It has number 272. That's another one. Serendipity Boulevard, New York, New York. New York, New York, 10027. And then it has, the time was 12, 12 p.m. All this is on this card, guys. I'm just looking. Um... The items came up to 1020. The tax was 91 cents, but the subtotal was 1111. So, guys, some of you, when you get this, they're telling you this is your twin flame. It's confirmation. What's freaky for me is what I was thinking when that number came through. So your twin flame could be thinking about you guys. Your twin flame, your soulmate. That, that angel number is relevant. And then we have flamingo and fun. It's time for you to have fun. Maybe you're going to have fun with this person. Guys, I'm going to read from the book. Just to see. <clears throat> so we got number 44, number 14, and then number 2. So let's go with 44. That's the last, last card in this book. Fireflies sprinkle wonder and magic into even the worst mo mundane moments, like taking out the trash or coming home late from work. Just one flickering glimpse of the fairy light can make you feel like a child again. Allow your imagination to take you away as you explore creative projects and new ways of approaching routine chores. Some believe creativity is only reserved for certain people, but everyone has the ability to access that power. 
Attend a paint and sip, experiment with cooking, or create something for your own enjoyment. Get inspired any way you can. This card is a nudge to pay attention. The universe may be transmitting new ideas or flashes of inspiration your way. Write down anything that comes to mind. Don't be surprised if your creative endeavors are being noticed. Let this be motivation for you to continue to create magic in the ways that make you happy. Additional meanings, guys, is express yourself via creative artistic activities, see things through the eyes of a child, find wonder in the small things, and attention and attention for your creative gifts. So guys, if you are a creative person or if you're thinking about doing it, do it. It's your time. Get inspired, right? Th this card is to nudge you to pay attention and keep going. And then we have this angel number here, guys, which is number 14. Repeating numbers are among the most recognizable symbols of the universe that are speaking directly to us. Once you start to notice an angel number, it becomes difficult to ignore, whether it be the building number 1111 or a receipt for $3.33 from the gas station. Each pattern of numbers has its own individual message. But overall, numbers are signs of synchronicity and alignment in your life. They tend to show up as confirmation that you are not imagining the line, imagining the signs you are picking up on all around you. This card is an indication you're on the right path. There are many different instances in which angel numbers can speak to you, including the time on the clock, license plates, phone numbers, and more. Listen to your intuition as you could be receiving critical guidance about the road ahead. The universe is guiding and supporting you in your journey and the synchronicities are a constant reminder. Trust that you are exactly where you need to be. There is no need to worry. Continue your path forward. You are a light worker. Trust your instincts. All right, guys, it says you're a light worker. And now we have number two, the flamingo, fun. When the flamingo appears, it's time to get excited. You don't have to live in a tropical climate to see this powerful symbol as they show up often in front yards and decor. The vibrant colors and quirky appearance of a flamingo can't help, can't help but draw attention and curiosity. Let your guard down and incorporate more fun activities into your routine. This card can indicate an underlying feelings of excitement for things to come, but there could be a need to embrace a sense of not quite knowing what it is expect the best you may intuitively feel like there is a reason to celebrate or feel you are anxiously awaiting good news amazing things are here on the horizon and there is no shame in embracing it exciting new experiences and opportunities can present themselves to you you're being admired and potentially attracting partnerships you've been waiting for anticipate fun and exciting times make time for fun guys exciting partnerships ahead vacation plans People are attracted to you. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Well, you got people in your energy just looking at you guys. Yep. It's something that you're doing. It's your creativity, but spirits that keep on doing it. Your angel numbers are lining up. It's crazy because I, I pulled the angel numbers before I even started the cards. So that's definitely a message. Let's get you a message from Tarot. Let's see what's going on here. Things have been revealed to you. Somebody's going back to something. They have unfinished business. They could be going back to something after an ending, after a Ten of Pentacles in reverse. This is a King of Cups in reverse. Normally a very loving person. But it looks like they're walking away. They're going back to something. Yeah. They ended the Two of Cups. Whoever they're walking away from, they don't want what this person is offering. They, this person wants a new world. <laughs> They're just dreaming about a new world. This is the Knight of Swords. They're ready to fight. If they have to. What's going on, Spirit? Yeah, they're going back to something. It's a death card in reverse. Guys, 
because this is that same emperor again. These energies are hitting. Somebody's energy is here tonight. Somebody is going back to somebody after an ending. And they don't have any regrets. That could be that new partnership that's coming in there, guys. Somebody wants to come back. Holy Spirit, Eight of Cups in reverse, please. Why is the Eight of Cups in reverse? We're going to find out. This is the King of Swords in reverse. They ended something in their life. They ended something, and that is what, what's allowing them to go back to something else. Six of Cups in reverse. With the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, whatever they're getting out of this Ten of Pentacles here, this whole family thing here, they don't want to go back to that. It was too much. It's more bad memories than good. Right? More bad memories than good. This King of Cups here is standing in their strength. They said, I do what I gotta do and break your heart. I don't want to see you cry, but it's hard to live a lie. I gotta do what I gotta do and break your heart. Yes. Holy Spirit, clarify this book up to me, girl. Somebody's ending something. Five of Wands in reverse. They're tired of being placed in competition. Tired of arguing. Tired of the sneakiness. Tired of fighting. They got clarity on the situation. They're going back to somebody that they see. This person could be a star. It could be the same person that created, right? I don't know. But you're their wish fulfillment. Whoever they're going back to, your person needs to come to you or you're going to them. Holy Spirit. Ooh. Clarify this emperor here in the upright. Why is this emperor here? What do you want, emperor? What do you want? Huh. They sat down on a new path, page of wands, and they're excited too. They're excited. They want somebody they can work with. Three of Swords. I mean, Three of Pentacles. On the bottom is the King of Pentacles upright. And then the Knight of Cups. Ooh, baby. Somebody trying to come back to you. Spirit, who is this person? Trying to come back. Guys, they, they watch it. Angel numbers and everything. Holy Spirit, who is this? Oh, this person's depressed right now. They're not happy. That's why they want to come back. They're not happy. And they're feeling lonely. You guys, look. They're feeling Kanye-ish. That's what I call that card. It's a Kanye card. <laughs> but yeah, they're depressed and sad. They're depressed and lonely. They miss, they miss you or you miss them, right? Holy Spirit. Ah, oh, this person is love struck. They love you. This is beautiful. They love you. Mm. And people are gossiping about it. People are like, you know what? He's all lonely and depressed and stuff. And da 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 da. And he all caught up over his woman. Blah, 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 blah. Y'all is mad. <laughs> and ain't nobody shook over you like that. Who are these gossiping A people, right? Who are these people that gossiping? Either that, who, Holy Spirit, where is this gossip? Clarify this gossip. It's probably that five of wands there. What is this gossip? Yeah, the, the gossip is they don't want this person to move on. The chariots in reverse. They're like, they, they ain't gonna leave. They ain't gonna leave. But they was like, they may though. They couldn't invest. You know, nothing came of their relationship with so and so. Oh, they leaving two of wands. I heard so and so changed their mind. They leaving. Yes, they leaving. That's what he said. Uh huh. There's the power. Bam. There's the gossip. The word on the street is <laughs> they're leaving. That's what the neighborhood says. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Pay attention to your angel numbers. This is definitely a message for someone. Because before I even pulled the cards, I had said my phone said 808 and then I pulled out the angel book and then this angel number came out. So guys, it's confirmation on confirmation on confirmation.
Start following your angel numbers. Look at everything, birth dates, addresses, everything. It all matters, your receipts. There's a message there. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. And those are your angels talking to you, trying to give you a message. All right, guys. Peace.